Okay. Hopefully you can see everything here. Now wait for people to join. Hello. Hey friends. <laughs> Kimberly, you just join. Uh, Y'all just join in to watch me make a fool of myself. I see. <laughs> I need. <laughs> Are your little kids gonna do this with us? <laughs> hey, Brooke. <laughs> Griffin's gonna do it with me today. Make sure your kids have a stuffed animal. They can tell us what kind of stuffed animal they have in the comments while we're waiting for everybody to join. I have a dolphin, right? I have a dog. And he has a dog. Griffin has a dog. Hi, Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. <laughs> Hello, Dappins. Hey, guys. <laughs> of course Gabby can do it. <laughs> it's going to be really easy for Gabby, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, Nick. <laughs> Nicole says hi, Griffin. Say hi to Miss Nicole. Hi. <laughs> We'll give everybody a couple more minutes to join. Make sure you have a stuffed animal, medium size, not too big, not too little, that you can use, okay? Oh, you have a bunny. Yay, sailor. I love it. Hey, Caroline. <laughs> you can tell me what kind of stuffed animal you have while you're waiting. If you're still going to get one, go get your stuffed animal. <laughs> we miss you too, Nicole. Sure. Make it quick. All right. We're about to get started. The, the first part is going to be our warm up that we do in the gym. Make sure um, if you can't hear me, let me know. I have a little bit of music in the background, so let me know if you can't hear me. But we're going to start with um, just some high knees. You can hold your animal and march and march in place. Sorry, I don't have, we don't have dots. So you just have to pick a spot and stay there. Make sure you're marching. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Let's go a little faster. Lift your knees up faster if you can. Big as you can. Faster, faster, faster. Good job. Free stretch your knees. That's it. Now we're going to run in place. That's too many broken. Don't bring all those up here. Run in place. Hold your animal. Run in place. <laughs> all right. All right. Good job. Freeze. Touch your knees. All right. And apart together. Apart. Together. Good. Keep going, Griffin. Apart. Together. Apart. Together. Ooh, Nora. I like foxes also. Good job. Apart. Together. Good, you can do it slow, or you can do it fast. And if you're really strong, you can lift your animal up and down, apart, together. That's it. Good job. Awesome. All right, and we're gonna put your arms up with your animal, and we're gonna jump to the sky, big as we can, to the ceiling. <laughs> jump, jump, and jump and turn. Jump and turn. Good job. Awesome. All right. And kicking. We're going to kick. <laughs> I want you to lift your legs up big as you can. If you can go really big, you can go really big. Or you can go really small. Kick. Kick. Good. Keep going. We're going to keep kicking. I'm going to add a little light here. There we go. Awesome. And if you have a big person there, you can kick your big person's hand. Like this, kick, kick. Nice, good job. Awesome. All right, it's time to 
do our stretches. Can everybody sit down and check? You can set your animal to the side for a minute and let them watch. Give your knees a hug for your tuck. All right, when you say tuck, it's important that we know the names of all of our um, skills so that when we, as we get better and we learn more things, it's easier to teach you. So tuck, and we're gonna rock and roll in our tub. Let's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Make sure you don't touch your head. Your head's very heavy, so it's easier to get back up if you don't touch your head. Rock and roll. And if you're strong enough, you can stand up without using your hands. So you're gonna rock and roll and reach for the ceiling. And we'll use that later when we do forward rolls. All right, sit back down. Let's do our pike. Put your legs out straight together. And we're gonna reach for the sky. And then tickle your toes. All right, let's make our sandwich. Put your peanut butter on. Put your jelly on. And put your bread on and eat your sandwich. And straddle, put your legs apart. Reach up to the sky and go to one side. Reach up to the sky, go to the other side. Reach up and go to the middle, flat as a pancake. Good job. All right, bring your feet together. We're gonna flap our wings like a butterfly. Awesome, you can tell your big person what color you want to be today and where you want to fly to. You could go anywhere right now. We're kind of stuck in one place. So where would you want to go if you could fly anywhere? You can tell us in the comments. Griffin's going to read it. Where would you go if you could fly anywhere right now? Where would your butterfly go? Alright, feet in front, hands behind. Gonna lift your belly up and make a table. Alright, let's eat some food off of our table. Rainbow, rainbow colored and flying to Disney World. Flying to Disney World. Oh yeah, that would be good if Disney was open, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that it is right now. Alright, we're gonna lay down on our back and do our bridge. Hands by your hair, elbows in the air, belly to sky. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. And push your belly up. <laughs> and if you're strong enough, you can lift off your head and push off your head. Awesome. All right. Good job, guys. All right. What else we got? Riker said Disney World. Yeah, and Caroline wants to fly to Chick-fil-A. Yes, we all want to go to Chick-fil-A right now, Caroline. All right. We're tired of eating at home, aren't we, Gervin? Yeah. Okay. But we actually have some good food, so we're not really. <laughs> the next part, you're going to use your stuffed animal. So get, grab your stuffed animal. We're going to start by putting our stuffed animal on our feet. Today we're going to do a lot of stuff where we're putting weight on our hands. So we're going to put our stuffed animal in our legs or our ankles. Put your hands down on the ground, and you're going to kick up in a mule kick. Like this, kick, 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 just like that. Do that several times. Good job. All right. Then take your animal, sit it in the center of your space. We're going to gallop around. Put one foot in front and gallop around your animal. Gallop. Like a horse, like giddy up. Around and around. Good job. All right. Grab your animal again. You got him? We're going to be an alligator. Alligators are long and flat, so we're going to make our body long and flat. So you're going to put your animal down, go over the top of it, and stretch your body out very long and flat like an alligator. And then if you want, you can even walk around like an alligator. Just make sure that you keep your body really straight, okay? Really straight and flat. <laughs> All right, did you do that? Good job. All right, grab your animal again. We're gonna do some blast offs. We're gonna squat down. Make sure you have your animal real strong. You're gonna squat down, and we're gonna one, two, three, blast him off to the sky. Again, one, two, three, blast him off to the sky. We're gonna do it again. Ready? One, two, three, blast off. Good job. And remember, that was a squat, and we blast it off. And it's important, remember, to remember what things are called. Okay? All right, Griffin, you gonna show us the blast off? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you did? 
gonna do it again. Ready? Squat down. One, two, three. Blast off. All right. Okay. Then we're gonna move on to forward rolls. Now this forward roll, you're gonna take your animal and you have to reach over the animal. Okay. So you're gonna put him down. Yep. The group is gonna show. Put him down where you can see. He's got a little bit of a big one. All right. Start on this side. You're gonna reach. Tickle the sky. You're gonna reach up and forward roll over your animal. Make sure you put your hands on the other side of your animal. And then try to stand up with your arms by your ears. Just like we did in rock and roll, where we didn't push off the ground. I want you to try to do that. Do it again. Reach over. Good. And one more time, Griffin. One more time. Reach up. Over your animal. And stretch at the end. Good forward rolls. Awesome. All right. And now we're going to do all that one more time. So grab your animal, put it in your legs, and do your meal kicks. Push, push, push onto the ground and kick your feet off the ground. All right, and then put your animal down in the middle. Put one leg in front and gallop around. Giddy up, giddy up. And gallop around. You're skipping. <laughs> Make sure you're galloping, not skipping. All right, good job. All right, and get your animal. Let's do our alligator. Stretch your body out as long as you can. Walk like an alligator, or just hold it like an alligator. You can just hold it still if you want. Whichever one you want to do. Keep your body straight. Do it, whichever one you want to do. Good job. All right, now we're gonna blast off. So start from that squat. One, two, three, blast off to the sky. Again, one, two, three, blast off. And one more time. One, two, three, blast off. Awesome. Good job. All right, back to forward rolls. Let's do some forward rolls. Put your guy down. Take the sky and reach over. Forward roll. Ta-da. Okay, Griffin. Let's not mess with the bones. I've jumped on it. Okay. That's why you should stay away from it. Go over here. Can you show me the forward roll, Griffin? Circle the sky. Hands all the way over. Forward roll. Good. One more time. Tail the sky. Reach over. Forward roll. And finish stretched and tall. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to move on to something else. Oh, it's okay. All right. Now we're going to move on to the next step. Something new and different, okay? This time, we are gonna start with putting our feet, if you have a couch or a bed to put your feet on, Griffin's gonna show you what we're doing. Do what I did. Uh, yep, all right. So if you have something you can put, um, Griffin, you scoot out so only your feet are on there and not your whole body. <laughs> It'll be a little bit harder if only your feet are on there. You can walk sideways. So we're putting weight on our hands. This, make sure your hands are forward facing, not out to the side. Can you try it one more time? Make sure your hands are facing forward. Oops, there we go. Okay, all right. Sorry, I'm new to this Facebook Live stuff, so I'm trying. <laughs> all right, so that's one of the things we can do is go sideways. We're also gonna do some bear crawls so we're gonna put our hands and feet down and our arms straight and walk like a bear, like this. And try to keep your legs super, super straight and your bottom up in the air. Griffin, can you please not touch the phone? I'm trying to get the comments. It's okay, all right. All right, can you show bear crawl? Show bear crawl? I can't do it anymore, I'm too old. <laughs> You're not too old. <laughs> Alright. It is harder. The older you are, it's harder. But just not or and boys are a little bit less flexible than girls. So alright, now we're gonna do some dancing bear. You can do this two different ways. Oh, okay. I like this one. You can do this hopping over your animal with your feet. So you can put your hands down and hop over your animal side to side, like this. Or you can actually hold your animal in your legs and walk and jump side to side. Back and forth. Whichever one's easier and you look better. <laughs> well, or you might want to do it harder just to work yourself a little bit more. So, yeah. 
Dancing bear. And then we're going to do some leaps just for fun. Put your animal down. Hold one leg over your animal and land on it on that foot that you were holding over it. And to an arabesque. And hold that leg up. So you're going to hold it up. Lift and then hold your back leg up. And that's a leap. All right. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning. We're going to do all of those again. Griffin, you want to do the couch one? I'm going to go sideways. And then walk sideways. Good job. All right. Give a minute to finish that. That one's a little bit harder. All right. And then some bear crawls. Let's do some bear crawls. Hands and feet flat on the ground, straight legs. Walk like a bear. And then we'll do our dancing bear. And go over, over and back. Over and back. Over. Yep, or put it in your legs. Side to side. And this is weight on our hands for cartwheels. <laughs> Putting weight on our hands with straight arms for cartwheels. Alright, and then some leaps. Yeah, I can do cartwheels. Yeah, I know you can do a cartwheel. That's what we're working towards. Alright, then we're going to hold one leg up and leap over your stuffed animal. Hold it up high. Land on that same leg and hold the other one up in the back. Good job. We'll do it again. Awesome. Very good. All right, so it's up to you. You can actually go around and around those circuits four or five times, as many times as your kids will um, have enough attention span for. So good luck staying moving. Bye.